Hey everyone, thanks for coming back and checking out another episode of my show. Um, this week we're going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is my favorite Martin Scorsese movie. Um, it's also my favorite uh, Mafia movie. Um, it was funny, when I was telling my dad that I was going to do this episode, uh, he had originally asked me, well, when am I going to do The Godfathers? And The Godfathers are definitely some of the best movies ever made. Uh, but as far as, like, personal favorites are concerned, um, I like Goodfellas more as a Mafia movie, simply because uh, I like movies that are uh, human and relatable, and not that the Godfather isn't a human and relatable story. There are a lot of things uh, when you break down those uh, movies that you really, you know, learn about the, you know, inner workings of the mafia and how they, you know, run things and you know how it affects their lives. But I feel like Goodfellas is a little bit more of a down-to-earth representation of that just because of the nature of the story uh it's about the lower level guys that work in the mafia um whereas goodfellas you know you're uh, i'm sorry the godfather you know you're talking about um uh, you know the higher ups you know the mob boss uh the uh you know the godfather <laughs> uh, you know that's why it's called that it's because it's about you know the leader of the you know that particular crime family versus Goodfellas, it's not about guys that are very high on the totem pole. Uh, in fact, it's mostly about how a outsider uh, got wrapped up in the uh, life of being a mobster and, you know, his kind of rise and fall to power. And, you know, it's not a very high rise to power, but, you know, it's, it's n enough that we get to see that progression and, you know, how it affects and changes his life. You know, we see where he starts out from in the very beginning to how he, you know, uh, grows to that. So I think that's the, that's what makes Goodfellas a little bit more interesting for me um, when it comes to mafia movies is that it's just, it's very, it's very low level in the hierarchy of things and we just kind of get a glimpse at what the daily life kind of looks like as someone who is a, you know, low level member of a crime family. Um, but it's also based off of a true story, um, whereas The Godfather is based off of, uh, you know, a book and uh, definitely has a lot of very accurate historical uh, things that were added into the story, uh, whereas Goodfellas is actual story about a guy named Henry Hill, uh, who, uh, worked for the Mafia back in the, uh, what, 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, I believe is when it takes place. I haven't seen it in a long time. It was one of those, that movies that I watch, you know, I used to watch all the time, like, you know, a couple times, not a couple times a year, usually once a year, um, but, you know, I'd seen it a bunch, but I haven't watched it in a while, actually, um, especially sitting down in its entirety to watch it. But, um, basically, Goodfellas, uh, when I first saw it, I was young. It was, um, it was Christmas, Christmas time when it came on TV, and it has one of my favorite openings, uh, you know, uh, the opening uh, narration line, not the opening not line, but the opening line of narration is, you know, my whole life always wanted to be a gangster, and, uh, the, the scene that it goes along with is very eye-catching, and, uh, that night where I was watching it, me and my mom were watching a bunch of episodes of Criminal Minds, and we thought it was another episode of Criminal Minds starting back up by how it starts. And then the title flashes across the screen, and we realize, no, we're watching a movie. Um, and it was late at night, and we just we got wrapped up into it, and we watched the whole thing. And Goodfellas is a pretty long movie. It's a solid two and a half, almost three hours, because uh, Martin Scorsese does not make short movies, which is fine with me. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, it's worth all that time that you spend on it. Um, like I said, it's just basically about this guy that, uh, you know, grows up and becomes part of the Mafia. Uh, and it's it's very entertaining. Uh, it does have a lot of language, but it is 
funny at times. It is very, uh, it, it's, it's very, it's, it's an emotional look into that lifestyle. Um, it shows the glamour aspects of it, but there are a lot of moments throughout it as the story goes on where you start to see the dark side of that life. Um, you can see why it appeals to people and why people choose to live and operate that way, but you also see the dark side and the dangers of it. Um, it's not action-y or anything like that, but it's just very, you know, realistic and, um, you know, uh, you, you see the, the toll that it takes, you know, emotionally and physically on the people that, uh, you know, the characters that are in this film. Um, but it's a Robert De Niro movie that, um, you know, he is very much known for. Uh, Ray Liotto plays the main character. That's also the movie that kind of he's the most known for and is definitely his best performance of all the films that I've seen him in. Um, he plays the main character, Henry Hill, and uh, him and the uh, his the actress that plays his wife. Uh, Lorraine uh, Bracco is her name. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. But she does a, I think, a fantastic job of really showing what it's like to be, you know, someone's family member. He, she plays his uh, wife, someone's family member that lives that life with them. Um, and though they don't totally agree with it, you see the, how they have you know, the benefits to living that life with them, but also the drawbacks and the danger associated with it and you watch how that affects her um, and I think her performance in that movie is also uh, extremely well and um, a very important character uh, that she plays throughout the film. Uh, Joe Pesci is in this movie and that's his best performance of his career. He won an Oscar for it um, and he has the record for the shortest Oscar acceptance speech. He just got up there and said thank you and got off stage, um, which would be nice to see more people do that instead of talking for like, you know, 20 minutes like they might do sometime. But anyway, um, he gives a really, you know, standout performance in that movie. Uh, most people, that's what they remember about this movie is how, you know, uh, electric, you know, uh, Joe Pesci was in that film and how, like, much he stands out. So, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's a very extremely well acted movie. It's a sh very interesting story. Um, but it's also cool because, you know, it's a very stylish film. Um, I like Martin Scorsese's style as a filmmaker. I think this is his most, uh, it's a, it's a great movie if you're trying to study Scorsese and you're trying to pick up on all the tropes and things that he puts in his movies. Every single one that he's done in just about every movie uh, is represented here perfectly. You know, the narration, the use of popular music, uh, the, you know, uh, those really smooth, steady shots sometimes and the longer takes. Uh, and the fast moving dialogue and things like that. Uh, all those things are, are really great, um, you know, aspects to that, uh, uh, to, to that, to his style, but, you know, also to the movie, I think that really makes it stand out and is a very classic, entertaining, uh, film in that genre. Uh, it's one of the most entertaining movies, uh, that I've ever seen, um, especially dealing with a subject that uh, really isn't all that uh, great as far as, you know, I mean, crime is a very, like, you know, serious subject, uh, but it makes the subject interesting and entertaining and engaging. Uh, without glorifying it too, too much, I think by the end of it, you still, you know, recognize that these people were criminals um, and everything. and. You know, they hurt people and stole and did all these really bad things. Uh, but it also does a great job of through the cinematography and, you know, the performances and everything of really, um, you know, adding that human element to uh, the story. So, um, yeah, Goodfellas, it's one of my favorites. Uh, definitely recommend it when it comes to the crime, mob movie genre. Um, like I said before, uh, you know, Godfather is... You know, and The Godfather Part Two are probably the best of the created mob movies as far as, like, you know, they're still better quality, but as far as my personal favorite is concerned, when I think, you know, uh, what's a mob movie I could watch over and over again, it's Goodfellas. 
Um, so uh, if you know somebody that liked Goodfellas um, and enjoyed it, uh, definitely check it out, send them this video, uh, like this, share it. Uh, for those of you who love mob movies and want to, you know, uh, add that to your list just in case you haven't seen it, or maybe you loved it, you've already seen it, and you want to watch it again. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. Um, next week I'm going to uh, come out with, uh, like I said, another video of my favorite films. Got a couple more of these left. We're on the home stretch here. I think we got four more we're going to talk about, uh, if I remember off the top of my head. So thanks for those who've been you know, sticking it out so far. I really appreciate it. And we'll uh, catch you next week uh, with another uh, episode. Uh, take it easy. Have a good one. Thank you.